My name is Sam Wagner, and I'm the author of Malignant Self Love Narcissism Revisited. Recently, I sat down with Nova Macedonia, a newspaper in the Republic of Macedonia, which is a small landlocked country adjacent to Greece. I responded to their questions about the Greek crisis and the Eurozone. The first question was Greece and the Eurogroup made an agreement which allows the country to receive money for the next four months in exchange for reforms needed to straighten the Greek economy. Western media announced that the only difference between the last and the new deal is that the name Troika is replaced with institutions. Do you think that Tsipras, the new Greek Prime Minister, will get along with the previous arrangements made by the Troika and Samaras, the previous Prime Minister? My response. During the recent elections, Tsipras painted himself into a corner and made promises he can never hope to keep. In effect, he is now begging Europe to find a way to bail him out, to save his face, to square the circle, to allow him to continue to implement the old arrangements, including the austerity measures, but in a way that will appear to be that he is not actually implementing them. Europe will offer him as many cosmetic concessions as he needs. It will rename arrangements, and credit facilities and institutions, reschedule some marginal debts, front-end bring forward the portion of the program dedicated to growth and employment, and so on and so forth. But the essence will remain exactly the same. Very shortly, Cyprus will be forced to fire thousands of additional state workers, apply painful reforms to the banking and financial sectors, and cut further down on government spending. With or without the Eurozone, he has no choice. Greece is bankrupt, though less so than it had been three years ago. The next question was, how real is the possibility of Greece leaving the Eurozone and bringing back the drachma? What are the consequences? The possibility exists only if the Germans will act unilaterally and arrogantly, the kind of conduct that they have been scrupulously avoiding since Tsipras came to power. Exiting the Eurozone and the European Union is a very unpopular idea in the Greek street and among Greek voters. It would be political suicide, as well as financial self-immolation. Greece needs all the credits it can get in order to merely survive. The minute Greece leaves the Eurozone, it will have to declare default on all its international debts and a moratorium on its domestic internal debt. Its banks will collapse and have to be completely nationalized. Unemployment will soar as export finance will dry up. Countries like Thailand and Argentina went through a similar scenario and it took them more than a decade to just recover. The following question was, will Germany and the EU allow this? What would this kind of step mean for the Eurozone? My answer is that Germany is the European Union, and it will do everything it possibly can to prevent this kind of development for several reasons. First of all, it is the biggest lender to Greece, and it won't see a penny if Greece defaults. Secondly, trust in the Euro will be shaken badly if the zone fails to tackle the balance of payments and banking problems of such a tiny member. Greece's GDP is less than 2% of the zone's aggregate total in real terms. Third, Germany will lose clout and its leadership will be questioned should this happen. Fourthly, it will encourage other members and countries like Russia and even China to defy the European Union and challenge the Euro as an emerging reserve currency for international transactions. Finally, any concessions to Greece will serve as a dangerous precedent for other heavily indebted and bailed out members in the Eurozone. The next question was the, the next and last question was the Greek, the Greece crisis multiple have been going on for years. What are your expectations for the end of this story? My answer is that Greece must default on all its obligations in an orderly and structured way. 
It must wipe the slate clean. It must create a bed bank for all the non-performing loans on the books of these banks. It must cut down government direct and indirect employment by 50% and divert these resources to generate youth employment. It must work with the huge and influential Greek diasporas everywhere to revive tourism, foreign investments, training and reskilling programs and find jobs for its surplus manpower abroad as gastarbeiter. Greece must monetize the economy by radically cutting taxes and redirecting spending toward high-yield projects and away from social welfare. Until it implements these tough measures, Greece will continue to be the sick man of Europe, faced with the permanent risk of deflation. Japan has been going through a similar slow-motion crisis for more than two decades now. Greece may find itself losing an entire generation if it, does not, if it is not careful and if it does not get its act together. Tsipras has huge political capital, popular support. Let's hope that he deploys it wisely.